Welcome to emergency medicine video. This video is about perforated viscous. We'll first discuss the causes and presentations of the patients with a perforated viscous. The definition of perforated viscous means the perforation of the GI tract, usually from the stomach all the way down to the end. This is a deadly diagnosis since the bacteria from the gut can quickly spread and produces sepsis. We'll first talk about the presentation of the patient in a general sense, and then we'll move on to each specific cause. In general, the presentation will be abrupt and severe pain. In terms of the vital signs, patients can be tachycardic, and depending on the course of illness, might be hypotensive. They might have a fever. On examination, the patient will be in distress. They may have a board-like rigidity to their abdomen and will not want to move. They will have significant tenderness with superficial palpation. There will be involuntary guarding and significant rebound tenderness. These are sick patients. Based on the specific cause of the perforated viscous, the patient's presentation might include different things as well. Let's look at the different causes of perforated viscous. The first cause is a perforated ulcer. The next cause, from local inflammation such as appendicitis or diverticulitis. Post instrumentation such as colonoscopy or after surgery in the anastomosis site. Lastly, it can also be from bowel obstructions. Let's look at the history and the presentation for each of these specific causes. For patients with peptic ulcer disease, what kind of questions on history do we want to know about? Well, you want to know about risk factors such as smoking, alcohol, and use of medications such as NSAIDs. They might describe dyspepsia or pain after eating. They may present as hematemesis, melina, or even hematochesia for a briskly bleeding ulcer. In addition to the general appearance we talked about before, patients with a perforated peptic ulcer might have their pain starts in the upper abdomen first. What about the patients with local inflammation? What kind of history and presentation might they have? In patients with appendicitis leading to a perforation, the classic signs would be paraumbilical pain that radiates to the right lower quadrant. There might be fever, vomiting, and anorexia. In patients with diverticulitis, their initial presentation might start off in the left lower quadrant. With both of these local inflammation, the perforation might be contained in that area, or it may become generalized. That will affect how the patient presents and how sick they look. For the patient who is post-op or post-colonoscopy, for these patients, you really want to find out exactly what procedure is done. Lastly, what about patients who have an obstruction leading to a perforation? What history should we obtain? We want to find out if there has been any surgeries in the past, any bowel obstructions in the past. On presentation, the patients often will have lots of vomiting, abdominal distension, and crampy abdominal pain. After a perforation has occurred after an obstruction, then the presentation will become more of the patient with sepsis picture, with generalized guarding and looking ill. In summary, in this section, we talk about the general and specific presentation of patients who might have a perforated viscous. In the next part, we will discuss the investigations and treatment. Thank you for watching.